So in this exercise, we are given the following diagram. So we have x and y coordinates. And then we have an A vector pointing this way, which has a length of 2.80 centimeters and is making an angle of 60 degrees with the x-axis. And then another vector B pointing this way, which has a length of 1.90 centimeters and is also making an angle of 60 degrees. The question is, in part A, what is the cross product of the two vectors? Cross, or sometimes called vector product of A cross B. Now, let's first calculate the magnitudes of this vector. The magnitudes of the vector is given by the definition and is equal to A magnitude B times the sine of the angle between the two vectors. So this is equal to A is 2.80 centimeters, B is 1.90 centimeters times sine of the angle between the two vectors. In this case, it's this big angle, which is 120 degrees. So I should say sine of 120 degrees. If you work this out, this gives you 4.61 square centimeters. So that's the magnitude of the cross product. Now note that because for in a cross product we're multiplying two vectors which have dimensions of centimeters, the result is going to be centimeters squared in this area. Now what about the direction of the A cross B vector? To find the direction we use the so-called right hand rule. And the right hand rule states that whenever you have a cross product the index finger is pointing along the first vector. In this case, it's the A vector. It's pointing along the index finger. So A is pointing this way, index finger is pointing this way. And then the middle finger is pointing along the second vector of the, dot, of the cross product. In this case, it's a B vector. So if A, the index finger, is pointing this way, B is pointing this way, along the middle finger, and then the thumb will be pointing along the cross product. So A, B and the cross product is pointing into the board. So you can say that the direction of the A cross B vector is inside the board. So into the board. So this is the, this is the notation for the uh, vector pointing into the board. A circle with a cross inside. Now you can also uh, you can also write the direction of the cross product using the IJK notation. In this case, we first need to find out what is the direction of the z-axis here. Well, to find the direction of the z-axis, you follow exactly the same right-hand rule. So the index finger is pointing along the x direction. The middle finger is pointing along the y direction, and so the z, z direction is pointing towards you, that is out of the board. So our z, our z axis is actually pointing out of the board, like this, towards us. The z axis is pointing this way. The cross product is pointing into the board. So you can say that A cross B is equal to 4.61 with the negative sign and the unit vector k. So this is part A. Part B is asking what is the cross product of B cross A. Now just from the definition 
you can see that the magnitude is not going to change. So you can clearly say that the magnitude of B cross A is exactly the same. It's 4.61 centimeter squared. Now what about the direction? Well note that here we've changed the order of the vectors, which means that if A cross B was pointing into the board, the B cross A will be pointing out of the board. So you can say that B cross A is equal to 4.61 unit vector K, that is without the minus sign that we have here. 